Uh, since we started, uh, since we launched the National Economic Empowerment Dialogue in September, there have been, um, we've gone to, I think, four regions, Busoga, Bukedi, uh, Bugisu, and Sebei. And uh, we've had very in interesting conversations with the people there. But the one thing that everybody has to know in this country is that the fact that all of us, regardless of where we come from, have some wealth that we can call wealth which is in our indigenous places, places where we were born, or you know, and uh, yet which we have not benefited from. So we are waking, awakening people to the fact that they have a right to some of the wealth that is indigenous in their lands. And in case there is any resource, there is a proper legal way by which government can get land for resource, and the people who are supposed to be there uh, are not sent and made displaced people, but they are compensated adequately and they are sent away, and it's made a, you know, a general thing. And the fact that we live in a very rich country, but that wealth is not being reflected in our lifestyles, in our pockets, and that is what National Economic Empowerment Dialogue is all about. We have to start talking about empowering people, okay? How do people be beneficiaries of the, uh, of the unique resources that are in their places? Because this whole country is resource rich. Every area, every, all of the regions, all the 15 regions which are pre-independence, or the ones which we've counted, the 17 regions, all of them have unique resources. And those resources are enough for the people who dwell in that place to go and have a decent life.